Hello everyone, welcome to A Moment with Dante. Um, I just kind of want to talk about CrossFit because I do not really do CrossFit on the regular. Only recently, about a month ago, did I start doing CrossFit related workouts in order to prepare for the CrossFit Open. Um, I always thought of CrossFit as being for pussies. And I rescind my statement, it's not for pussies. There are a lot of exercises where the form is not correct form, and that bothers me. Like for example, chest-to-bar pull-ups. Right. I'm not really even sure if I can show this. Maybe I can just show the images. Um. Oh, fuck. Yeah, like that. Here. See that swing? You kind of swing up to the bar. It's just, it's not... It's not, uh... It's not muscular. It still uses your muscles, but you use a lot of momentum. So, yeah. However, the workouts are actually very good. Um for cardio and for HIT, like HIT training, high intensity interval training, the workouts are insanely good for that. Like if you want to improve your cardio ability, CrossFit workouts are the way to go. Now, um, in the CrossFit Open, um, they just released the 20.2 workout, which has been announced. Check out the details here. So we're gonna go to it real quick. It's four dumbbell thrusters, six toes to bar, 24 double unders, and you use 50 pound dumbbells. Okay, here we go, we can see here. here. So these are thrusters, right? I have no problem with those, right? Because even though you're using momentum on the way up, right? Um, those, are, those are good. Work your shoulders really well. Work your quads up during the squat part. And then you've got toes to bar. Notice that rocking though on a toes to bar. See, you see how she rocks back and forth there? Okay, in a normal toes to bar, um, like a gymnastics one, you don't have that rocking. You're straight armed and you just lift your legs completely. Slowly. It's now these are double unders. These are going to be a problem for me. I can almost guarantee it. Um, you jump rope and you basically, the jump rope goes twice under your feet before you land. So every time you jump, the jump rope goes twice under your feet. Um, and that's the workout that I'm going to do tomorrow. And I just wanted to talk about CrossFit in general and, and my view on it as someone who didn't do CrossFit ever. Um, I think it's great. Um, cardio work, right? Some of the exercises, you know, they do take muscle, so it's important. But um, still, as far as muscle building goes, I still would recommend um, more calisthenics work, and especially to build strength. Um, but if you want to be like really in shape, you know, run a couple miles without you know really breaking much of a sweat. This is definitely the move. Uh, your cardio ability increases heavily when you do this, you do CrossFit stuff. Um, and so I'm going to kind of predict what's going to happen to me when I do this workout. The four thrusters and the six toes to bar are going to be okay, I would say, for at least the first three rounds, meaning I won't really struggle with them. The six toes to bar, I haven't done a thruster ever before, by the way. The six toes to bar are going to become a problem when my forearms start to give out. And that's when it's going to be a struggle because I'm going to have to do them in chunks. I could do three, drop, do three, keep going. Now the real issue for me are these 24 double unders because that means the rope is passing underneath my feet 48 times. I'm jumping 24 times, but the rope passes under my feet 48 times. So the hard part is going to be 
coming up with a rhythm and then keeping it consistent. Like right here. You're just jumping 24, like, the jumping like that 24 times is not that big of a deal. It's just, can I keep the rhythm going where the rope goes under my feet twice? And I really do not know that, and I really should have practiced my double unders more leading up to this workout, but I did not do that. So that's just kind of how it goes. Right? Um, so my prediction is... Let's see, 20 minutes, I'm at least going to do three rounds if I manage the double unders. So I'm either going to epically fail because I can't get these 24 double unders no matter how hard I try, or I'm going to do okay, and I'm going to make it about three, maybe four rounds in the 20 minutes. Um, and I don't think that's particularly good, but we'll see how far I can push it, you know? I think the problem, my problem child is going to be these double unders. I don't think the thrusters are going to give me much of an issue. It's only four, right? Four is extremely manageable. And six toes to bar, I've been doing 10. Um, I've been 50, basically, in the sets when I do them. I've been doing five sets of 10. And 10, I can manage them. So six, six I can definitely do more of, more rounds of. Especially with four thrusters and 24 double unders in between, you know? It gives my forearms time to rest. But not really for the thrusters, but it gives my forearms time to rest, and it gets me ready to do more toes to bar. Um, I think it's going to be a good workout, and we'll see how it goes tomorrow. That's pretty much it. Um, I didn't really have anything that I want to talk about today, so I just decided to talk about the CrossFit workout. Um, hope everybody has a great day. I'm still killing it. I did some stretching just now, and... Uh, slowly getting closer to doing a split which is kind of an accomplishment i feel like anyway peace out everyone have a great day and this has been a moment with dante